A bucket contains 200 cc of liquid. A solid ball is dropped in the bucket, resulting in the size of liquid level to 1.3 times of its original level. If the radius of the base of the bucket is 3 cm, radius of the surface of the liquid level is 1 cm more than the radius of the base of the bucket before the ball is dropped, find the volume of the solid metal ball. All kinds of confusing data. Thank you. First of all, I'm going to draw the bucket. Let's start with that. Radius of the base of the bucket is 3 cm. Radius of the surface is 1 cm more than the radius. So this bucket, like a typical bucket anywhere, will be like this. It's called a frustum. And so somewhere the water level is still this point. And so this radius is 3, this radius is 4. That much we know. And then the, after the ball is dropped, the height increases to 1.3 times of its original level. So this is height. Then the, the new level, the height is. 1.3 h height increases to one point lovely now the, 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 the problem here is we cannot simply calculate volume of the cylinder because the column of water is no longer a cylindrical column this is a frustum which is basically a cone cut off this is a frustum this is a frustum right so now how do you figure out what is the radius here you find that radius and you've got something going right so this volume here it's 200 cc. But we don't know that radius. How do I do this? So I extend this. Let's meet it somewhere here. Now, this triangle and this triangle are similar. So join the center. This is 3 and that is 4. This is h. This should be 3 h. And so the side should be 3 h. Therefore, for 4, it becomes 4 h. 3 to 4, the increase is h. So for 3, it should be 3h. For 4, it should be 4h. This whole height, now 4.3h. This triangle, this bigger triangle, and this triangle are all similar. So this is 3h and 3, 4h and 4, 4.3h, this should be 4.3. So the, when the solid ball is dropped and the water level rises, then the water column that is added has a base radius of 4 cm and a top radius of 4.3 cm. Our original bucket had a base radius of 3 cm and a top radius of 4 cm. So if this frustum measures 200 cc, what will this frustum measure? And how do you find volume of a frustum? Frustum is basically a bucket on a big cone, cut off a small cone. And so height, let's say, is, 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 is 3h and height. What is the volume of this thing? It will be 1 by 3 pi r square height minus 1 by 3 pi r square height. This is 1 by 3 into pi into 4 square into 4 h minus 1 by 3 into pi into 3 square into 3 h. Quite simple. What will be the smaller frustum that we are interested in? Find the volume of the solid metal ball. This is Archimedes principle, Eureka. Volume of the ball is volume of the water displaced. The extent to which the water level has risen, that volume, the volume of the ball. So how do I find that? That this is 200. We need to find 1 by 3 into pi into 4.3 square into 4.3 h minus 1 by 3 into pi into 4 square into 4 h. After this, this just becomes a ratios question. So I'm not going to think about it as an equation. I'm going to think about it as a ratio. Something is linked here. That means this 1 by 3 pi, 1 by 3 pi will disappear. 1 by 3 pi, 1 by 3 pi will disappear. The h will disappear. The h will disappear. 4 cube minus 3 cube is linked to 200. 4.3 cube minus 4 cube, what will it be linked to? That's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to take the math separately. 4 cube minus 3 cube is linked to 200. 4.3 cube minus 4 cube, what is that linked to? This is easy. 4 cube is 64 minus 27. This is a pain in the neck. 
when 4.3 square 43 square 43 into 43 i know this this is 1849 otherwise you can multiply and find out i'm going to take this as 18.5 18.5 into 4.3 3 phase are 15, 5, 1, 24, 25, 5, 2, 5, 5, 5, 4, 5, 7, 20, 0, 2, 32, 34, 4, 3, 7, 5, 5, 5 plus 4, 9, 79.5. So 64 minus 27, 37 corresponds to 200. 79.5 minus 64. What does that correspond to? 79.5 minus 50, 64 is 15.5. What does that, that correspond to? So 15.5 by 37 into 200. Or 15 by 36 into 200. I'm approximating along the way several times. The choices seem to be reasonably far apart. This is by 5 by 12. This is 50. 3 250 by 3 which is 83 point something I, I, I probably overestimated by a little bit 80 centimeters good that's good if i'm given a calculator which i'm not then then i will i will use it if i'm not i'll make adjustments for just like this and then go the key thing here to shed out our 1 by 3s and pi's and r squares and h's just deal with the numbers 4 cube minus 3 cube is linked to 200 4.3 cube minus 4 cube what is that linked to do it as a ratio Otherwise, the computation is a pain, but a doable question. Hush.